and they're not they're not trying to hear the word. All right, uh, get, get this in Amos chapter uh, 8 and 11. So this is Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, not a thirst for water, but of hearing the word of the Lord. So there's going to come a famine of the words, man. All right, the Lord said that there's going to come a famine of the spiritual uh, 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 food. So if you are not going to come up and get this word right now while it's out free, because no one's charging you, man. You see? The thing is about this is that we come out here week in and week out, okay, no excuses. That's a, that's what it says the, the scriptures tell you that you should be instant in season, out of season, right? So you can come out here and get it. But a lot of people, if you're not going to get it while the Lord still has it open, there's going to come a point to where he's going to have to take away the word. When you have martial law and a lot of these different type of writings and race wars, Con. and you're going to actually get to the point to where... You're probably not gonna be out. You're not gonna be able to just come out in the street, man. Especially, uh, they got these vaccines, bro. If they say that if you don't take these vaccines, you're gonna have to be locked in your house. And we know that really, I'm not taking the vaccine, man. Right? Even the uh, even the RFID microchip. When it gets down to these points, there's gonna be no way that you can have men who really uh, study scriptures by the Lord's Spirit, who gave them the Spirit to know how to decipher. They're not gonna be out here to actually decipher it for you right and if no one can decipher it it says what is that scripture that says um uh, uh how can they be taught lest there be a teacher and how can there be a teacher lest he be sent or something of that sort yeah. i kind of forget it but you know if you don't have a teacher out here teaching you like thus say it the most high you're gonna be all crazy you're gonna be going through it and not knowing how you really what it means so there's gonna come a famine to the point to where you can't even get this understanding this youtube is going to be taken out the way Appreciate it. Yeah, they're gonna take YouTube like literally off of the off of the websites, and they're, they're gonna make it to the point to where everything's censored. Cause they're gonna call it hate 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 group. They're gonna mean they're gonna call it hate speech. For the littlest things, they're gonna start censoring people. All right, it's gonna get to the point to where look, you're gonna look to and fro. Keep going on eight, uh, Amos in eleven. Uh, I'd appreciate it. So this is um, for I say unto you that none of those men which were bidden to the, uh, which were bidden shall taste of my supper. So none of the men who are bidden to the supper of the Lord are going to taste of it, man. I'm, when, when I say that, when the Lord said that, he meant the men who, uh, who were rebellious, the men who didn't actually want the supper, look, they gonna have to starve in that day. All right, yeah. spiritually though, you know, cause the Lord, yeah. he, he, has his, uh, he has his hand out on a day-to-day -day basis, all right, because through, by way of uh, the men who come out on the highways and byways and try to um, ask ask the, the Israelites who they are, all right, try to give them the knowledge, and they don't want it, ultimately they're gonna be too caught up in their day-to-day -day life. They're gonna be too caught up in what they gotta do because ultimately they don't believe in the Lord. God. So there's gonna be a time when this famine actually hits, all right, this famine of word, all right, which is actually a famine of spiritual food. Mm. That spiritual food is gonna be gone, all right, and there's nowhere to get it. That's why the Lord said that those rebellious men who have too much to do, look, you guys are not going to taste of the food, man, of the supper. You see? Right, man. So uh, keep going on the Amos 8 and 11, man. Amos 8 and 11, verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. See? So they're going to have, people are going to really... Uh, start seeing all all the things start to break out on earth right they're gonna start to see uh, uh how really when these men came out on the highways and byways they were speaking truth you see and they're probably gonna be like i heard about it man like i know that they were saying this and that and the third but i can't find it no more and that's gonna be too late for, that's gonna be your fault because yeah. the lord the lord stretches hand but you didn't regard mm -hmm. that's gonna be your judgment now you're gonna be spiritually uh, uh deprived of what you need to be delivered you're gonna be out here like literally doing what the scriptures said not to do, right? Like it says, if your hand be joined hand to hand in that day, if you're if you're trying to be a cool man, if you're trying to not uh, know about how there's gonna be race wars, right? There's gonna be there's gonna be, the Lord tells you like uh, uh, how to maneuver. We come out to show people how to maneuver for the days which are ahead. All right, and really just how to get yourself salvation and get yourself right with you. How about Shimmy Osha? Slucky, slucky. Come, come. I got one. Come. Um, I seen Lil Wayne and Trump. Mm -hmm. And I seen how Lil Wayne wanted to, you know, vote for Trump or whatever. Right. 
But then that's that's actually leading, leading Israel to astray, man. Hey, mm -hmm. hey, since our leaders cause the people to uh, uh, what's that word? Our leaders cause the people to lead them astray. Yeah. Hey, I believe it says, uh, "Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help." You know, mm -hmm. that trust in that trust in the strength of Pharaoh. That's Isaiah chapter thirty-one, I believe. Right. So, hey, a lot of people out here they trust in Esau. They trust in all these uh, people to give them what they need. When Esau is not going to help you, he's not going to. These people never helped you. They, they always shows you that they didn't. They never cared about you. That's going to be Satan again, tricking you. Satan just tricked you. He's two faced. They're two faced devils. Meaning they say one thing, but in their heart they really mean something else. I believe that's Psalms chapter fifty five and twenty. Are you a priest? I want to read this out in Isaiah. All right, ten and ten and twenty. Give me a second there. Twenty one. It says, 20, it says, And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel, and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob, shall no more stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel. God, the remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty God. For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return, this consumption decree shall overflow with righteousness. So there's going to be a remnant that stopped trusting in Egypt, man. They stopped trusting in the men who are oppressing us. You see, that's only one third, though. That's a small number who actually uh, uh, who actually uh, uh, took the, the help, the, ha the hand of the Lord that he was stretching out to us. But there's also two thirds of the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans who actually believe that Trump is finna help them, all right? Trump and Lil Wayne did a little thing. They believe that that's, uh, that's uh, a new arising. That's nothing but another troll, God, all right? That's, that's, troll. Finna, that's finna just backfire on a lot of y'all, man. Yeah, man. All right, that's a big backfire, man. I want to get this because, you know, this is going into how our people are just rebellious after so many signs of the Lord bringing to them. But they're going to continually do it. So the Lord's got to deal with them on a harsh level. This is Isaiah, Amos chapter 4 and 9. I have smitten you with the blasting of mildew, with your and, and slack you when your gardens and your vineyards and your fig trees and your olive trees increased. Yeah, yeah. The palmer wood devoured them, yet you have not returned unto me, saith the Lord. I have sent among you pestilence after the manner of Egypt. Your young men have I slain with a sword. I have taken away your horses. I have made the stink of your camps to come up into your nostrils, yet you have not returned unto me, saith the Lord. I have overthrown some. I have overthrown some of you, as God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, and you were as a firebrand plucked out of the burning. Yet you have not returned unto me, saith the Lord. Therefore, thus will I do unto thee, O Israel, and because I will do this unto thee, prepare to meet thy God, O Israel. So, hey, the Lord says He's He's always shows signs to you, man. Like the 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 Lord literally showed you. He brought to you all these curses, the curses of Deuteronomy. I would be cursing the cities. Cursing the field, we go to slavery, uh, uh, all your, your different type of ways you could think about how the Lord struck us down. Slavery, right? Yeah. Uh, oppression, okay? Shooting people down in the streets. That's still not enough for our people to come back to Yahweh, right? He's 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 really uh, uh, giving us over to so much evil because we're obedient, disobedient, but we still refuse to act, act like we know what's going on. You've yeah. had men out here, prophets, for, uh, for years, giving you the straight out straight out word no no uh no sugar coated man you see and it's it's made manifest that this is the way the lord says seek you out of the book of the lord and read none of these shall fail so the quran is not going to help you the book of mormonism is not going to help you okay christianity is not going to help you the only thing that's going to help our people is to come back to the word of the lord man you see but he said because you do not do it let me read this again Therefore, I will do this unto thee, O Israel, because I will do this unto thee. Prepare to meet thy God, O Israel. Hey, so y'all gotta, hey, you, the two thirds of Israel, hey, they're gonna have to prepare to meet the Lord, right? Meaning the Lord's gonna have to deal with you on a first hand level, right? His hand. He's gonna actually bring towards you destruction. He's gonna bring Yahweh Shai himself to deal with you. So you're gonna have to meet Yahweh Shai. It's not gonna be a good meeting to him, man. It's not gonna be sweet Jesus. Okay, the who the world calls Jesus is gonna be a so called black man coming through this clouds he's gonna come with the armies of heaven heaven it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna his his really his chariots are going to incinerate all right you you damn uh uh you wicked man see 
And even before that happens, I want to get this. Right? So the Lord, the Lord's being serious, man. All right? People take this thing for like, like it's some type of a hobby. Or they want to act like this is not that important. Mm -hmm. Hey, when you hear this word, it's so important. Yahweh Shai said that you have to, you literally have to drop all things. You see? Mm -hmm. That's how important. He said, if any man come after me, Easy. you have to take up your cross and follow me daily. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't consider that. They consider that this thing is just a, um, like a little uh, religion or a little uh, hobby or so, or a little like little club. Nah, man. All right, this is gonna be First Peter, all right, chapter four, and then I wanna actually get a um, seventeen. It says, "For the time of judgment is must begin. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, what shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel? You see, of God. It's a lot. So it said that." The judgment of God has got to come. It's going to start with the house of the Most High. And who is that? That's you so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? God. The judgment's going to begin with y'all. You understand? The Lord's going to come and judge you first whenever uh, Jacob's trouble strikes. All right, whenever these uh, martial law troops come through, whenever the vaccines come out, hey, they're trying to take it to your hoods first, man. All right? They're going to try to... Uh, uh, take you guys because they're going to be doing it in the city they're going to be trying to take y'all out the cities out of your apartment or whatever little uh uh slum you live in they're going to take you about that thing man and then thrust you into these female camps that's for you two-third wicked who will not listen to the word of yahweh i got it right? uh, yeah go ahead bring it up this is jeremiah chapter 27 verse 7 nevertheless hear thou now this word that i speak in thine ears in the ears of all the people the prophets that have been before me before the of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence and the prophet which prophesied of peace when the word of the prophet shall come to pass then shall the prophet be known that the Lord have truly sent God yeah so you know the uh, prophets of old their whole duty really on earth was to actually prophesy about what the Lord is really going to come to do all right they actually were prophesying for years on end you know, and that's that's what the, the Most High has out here today, right? In these streets, you have a lot of men on the highways and byways. You got camps all over the United States of America, right? All over, uh, all over even in Europe. You have them in uh, different type of states, different type of countries, you see? And us ourselves, we, hey, we're just out here trying to do the, uh, we're trying to follow after prophets, you see? So we're just out here trying to do what a prophet's supposed to do, you see? Uh, I had to preach what too. the Lord says is going to come to pass. And you should take heed because the prophets are going to speak of evil. Speaking of peace, no one's speaking of peace out here, man. The peace is going to say peace and safety, a then sun, the then sun destruction, you know? A lot of people want that peace, that peace and prosperity. You got to get out that Christian church, man. All right? That's going to show, that's going to do nothing for you but get you a false message. And it's going to destroy you, man. You know, go ahead and bring that up. This is um, 2nd Andrew 16 and 29. As an orchard of olives upon every tree, there are left three or four olives. Or as when a vineyard is gathered, there are left some clusters of them that diligently seek through the uh, vineyard. Even so, in those days, there shall be three or four left by them that search their houses with the sword. So when this time, when that time comes, man, these, uh, these, uh, these Edomites, they're gonna be trying to search our houses, man. All right, and it will be in the hoods. The sl the hoods, the slums and ghettos, they're gonna search your houses, man. God. And take you out of it. And put you in the um, in the FEMA camps, man. And put you in little concentration camps to where they, they, they can control you, right. all right? And they're probably gonna be killing you in there too, man. It's gonna be putrid and horrible to conditions in those FEMA camps. But it did say that there's gonna be a few left, all right? There's gonna be a few people left, all right, here and there, all right, but it's not gonna be a lot. A few left, like a few grapes are le left in the vineyard, all right, but those are actually men who fear the Lord, all right? The Lord, he allowed them to to, uh, to actually stay, all right, in their house or whatnot. He preserved them. You got more? No. Okay, God. This is the book of Revelations 12 and 12. It says, therefore rejoice, you heavens, and them that dwell, uh, uh, slack you, them that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth, okay, and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, 
having great wrath because he knows he had but a short time. So the Lord says that woe unto the inhabitants of the earth because the devil who, all right, we come to know it today as the so-called white man, right? Because the devil literally means deceiver. When we say devil, we don't mean a dude who uh, a Christi Christians will portray to you, some Greek mythology dude um, in, the, in the hell, in the pits of hell, who are like red, right? Or some type of monster. Right. That's that's really not what a, a demon means or devil. No. Devil just goes back to the word deceiver, right? So really, the Lord saying that the deceiver of the earth is the so-called white man, Esau. You see, right. Esau and his elites—they always are gonna push lies on earth, man. Okay, show you what's show you the false narrative of everything, man. No. All right, it's trick you. Well, you know, he said that he's gonna come down on you having great wrath, right? Because he knows he has a short time. Because Esau knows, according to the scriptures, that his kingdom is short. And it's coming to an end. Get that in, uh, uh, what's that one? It says, uh, every kingdom must come to an end. Joe. You know what that one? Yeah, 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 Joe, Joe. 20, 25, right? So Esau knows that his kingdom is at an end. Let's get this real quick, right? Job chapter 20 and 4. Uh -huh. Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short. And the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. So this is what's known of old that the triumphing of the wicked is short. And the joy of hypocrites, it's only gonna be for a moment. So every kingdom on earth fell. The Roman Empire, the Greek Empire, the Persians and the Medes, right? The Babylonians, all these people have fell from their glorious estate. Egypt, man, like you would have never thought, like ever. Back if you was living like in time of Egypt and you was probably there, you'd probably be like, man, this place is gonna be here forever. It's the so, glorious kingdom, man. I got one. Con, con. So, like, the people saying, like, all kingdoms going to come to an end. I don't care if you no. think America is going to be, uh, 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 going to thrive forever. You think it's so great, it cannot fall. No. This kingdom is going to be subject to what the Lord said, that it's going to come to an end. And Esau says he knows he had but a short time. So he's going to come down with great wrath, meaning he's going to come down with uh, uh, FEMA camps, right? He's mm -hmm. going to actually come killing, martial law. Right. You're going to actually see him actually, uh, 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 lynching people in the streets and I mean it's gonna be raping robbing and murdering America's gonna be turned to a war zone mm. that's actually what's gonna happen World War 3 is breaking out and Esau's in order to try to uh, uh, lengthen his time to rule he wants to establish a so-called new world order which is not gonna happen man you see God. that's not gonna happen that's his mentality that he thinks he's gonna continually rule but mm. hey, his, his time's short altogether you're gonna bring that out, out. this is the Revelation chapter 11 verse 8 and their dead bodies shall lie in the in the, in the great city, uh -huh. which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, and where also the, our Lord was crucified. Come on, come on, come on. You got that up. Oh, so, ba so basically, you know, our people they they are asleep. They're dead. Like uh -huh. they're at, at a dead mindset, basically. And you know, when everything kicks off, like like the brother said, martial law troops when they kick into um, people's you know houses or slums, man. Back out in the ghettos, man. You know. These, these devils ain't gonna have no pity upon Jake, man. That's right. Amen. I wanna add to that, man, because guess what? Even going back to the first thing in the lesson, this food is what's supposed to, well, the water, man, the water of food is supposed to make you alive, man. Right? right? Y'all haven't had anything to eat. Y'all dead. All right? And this, this word right now is only out here for a certain period of time. Right? That's why the Lord has Amos 8 and 11, because there will be a famine of the word. All right, if you didn't eat now, you're not going to eat later. All right, because that food is going to be gone, man. The door is going to be shut. See, God, I would get this in Jeremiah 3.14. Turn, O backsliding children, save Yahweh, for I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city, two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. So the thing is, the Lord said, turn unto me, O backsliding children, right? To the so-called uh, Hispanics. Blacks and Native Americans. He says to turn back to him from your wicked ways. Stop living like a heathen. Stop celebrating Christmas, Easter, Halloween. Stop breaking the laws, man. Come back to the Most High's laws and commandments and have faith in his son, Don't. right? Understand what this is about. Understand this is about you, right? And you only have salvation, that's it. It's not, it's not to no other people but Israel, you see? Now, you're gonna read, uh, read on to say, uh, uh, verse 15, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding, all right? So, you know, the Most High also said that he would send uh, pastors who are, are going to speak his word faithfully and truthfully, 
right? And they're gonna feed you, you know? So that's why a lot of people shouldn't despise uh, the men of the Lord who actually do the work of the Most High, right? They are sent there to teach Israel. That's, that's a teacher. So a lot of these men who have been out here for years, hey, those are the men who you should take heed to, right? Right? And, and then get yourself built up so you can also teach, right? That's what the Most High is actually commanding. Uh, so you got a precept? Yeah, let me get this to you. Let me go to uh, Hebrews. Let's see if I can get this in Hebrews. It's a lot. Hebrews chapter. Uh, four, five, verses 12. It says, For when. For when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God, and are become such as have need of milk and not strong meat. All right, so yeah, the Lord does send out teachers, man, so that we as a nation of Israel, the one third, that they can be taught again. All right, because ultimately the one third they're going to humble themselves like children and be able to take in this food, man. God. To take in that word. All right. But for the two thirds, you have you have a lot of two thirds, man, that believe they know it. You have a lot of uh, street G's, all right, street OGs who think they know something, all right, and they don't want to take heed to the word of the Lord. Or you're just proud. You've been in church for like all uh -huh. your life, so you think you yeah. got it or something. Uh huh. Oh, I they know think, the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That that type of script. They think they know. The word they hey I, I read that thing back to front. I know what I, I know what the Lord's talking about. And they can't get it. Ultimately the Lord he he blinded them, man. Right, right. Alright, that pride will get you nowhere. The Lord, he tells you in the in the Proverbs, before uh before honor comes humility, man. But they don't want no they don't want uh humility. They don't want to be humble. Alright? They're full of pride and all they want to be is honored. Alright, that's not how that works, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I want to get this you got more nah yeah Revelation 7 and 1 after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth holding the four winds of the earth sure. that the wind should not blow on the earth nor on the sea nor on any tree and I saw another angel ascending from heaven from the east having the seal of the living God and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea right. saying hurt not the earth neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their forehead. See, so the Lord is saying that He is not gonna, uh, He's not gonna bring the judgment on the most on the earth until the servants of the Yahweh Bashem Shai have been sealed with this understanding, with this wisdom. And then that's when the Lord says He's gonna let these angels, these four death angels, He's actually gonna let them come on earth, man. See, He's gonna actually let these four. Uh, not it's only not it's not only four, but he's gonna let these spirits uh, get on earth right now, and then they're gonna start to uh, provoke people to do willful sin. They're gonna start uh, making people uh, act like like crazy, man. That's why it's, right, right now you have people acting crazy. Yeah, that's true. You got the presidents and you got all these people making wartime moves. Right. Uh, what, what the hell is? Well, that's because the Lord's sending uh, uh, angels of uh, the vengeance. He's sending different type of spirits out here. Get that in Sirach 39. He's sending different type of spirits that's actually cleaving to people because uh, a spirit will uh, take your soul. A spirit's gonna actually like cleave onto you and it's gonna take control of you and you don't even know it, man. That's why Ecclesiastes 8 and 8, it tells you that no man has power over the spirit to retain the spirit. You can't you can't do anything against that thing, that spirit. If that spirit wants to get on you, well, there's nothing that you're gonna do. That's why a lot of people out here are gonna start raping, man. A lot of people are gonna start rioting. A lot of people have been buying guns up like crazy because of these elections. The spirit of war is in the air because the Lord is sending his angels because uh -huh. the elect are little by little getting sealed. Uh -huh. The only explanation is because we're really close to the elect actually getting sealed. We don't really know that. No yeah. one knows that. You said but, something about wisdom, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But real quick, before I uh, get that, it said that uh, the elect, they have to be sealed. So that's what we out here doing, man, is sealing the elect and also too, before hell breaks loose, that number got to come back to you. How about you, man? Sure. Uh, you can bring out your priest about this is Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and the strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. So basically, his word is his treasure, man. Yeah, that's wisdom right, and man. knowledge is his treasure, man. 
wisdom and knowledge is something that you get from the word, man. Okay. Now people they reject the word. Okay. And that's when the Lord is gonna reject it. Okay. So that's what's gonna keep us stable. And uh like actually a flow actually gonna keep you level-headed is really knowing this truth and what it says oh. and knowing that the most high he is bringing up the uh, judgments on the earth man all right the lord is not it's not satan satan doesn't do that actually get that Sirach chapter 39 if you could all right we're gonna right. show you that the lord himself he actually he's gonna bring a lot of judgment to the people so evil do being done in the city that's really yahweh and yahweh shy uh, sanctioning that man. Uh, as a matter of fact, before you get that, I want to get this in Amos, right? All right, that's that's something that you know people don't know. They no. they really they really believe that Satan has dominion over this earth. No, no, Satan does not have dominion over the earth. Well, the Lord has given him dominion, but it was the Most High giving it to him. The Most High wants to take, okay, anything at any moment's notice. It's up to Yahweh. He's omni, omni, uh, uh, omnipotent. Meaning that the Lord is the Almighty. He's all powerful, all doing. Meaning nothing gets out of His hands. You see? So this is all the Lord's uh, the Lord's schemes right now. Uh, you think it's evil, but we're gonna read this. Amos chapter uh, three and six, right? We used to say, uh, "Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord had not done it?" So you see. He said there's got to be a trumpet blown in the city then the people are not the people should get afraid because this trumpet being blown in the city is us lifting our voice like a trumpet and showing our people our, their transgressions right now you should be scared at that but a lot of people really don't get scared because they don't hear the, the right tune but anyways it says shall there be evil in the city and the most High had not done it so anything that you perceive to be evil man like shootings drive-bys war 9-11 man uh, 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 people dying just by diseases, right? Car crash. That's all judgment by Yahweh. See, so if the Most High is bringing the evil, all the martial law and everything going to come through, the Lord is going to bring that on the earth. So what makes you think that He cannot also protect you from that same evil? You see? Uh, get that in Sirach chapter 39. Sirach 39. Um, Sirach chapter 39. 28. It says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which are in their fury, lay them so stroke, sore strokes, uh -huh. in the time of their destruction, lucky, in the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So he said, the Lord says, he has made spirits of vengeance for his for his purpose. He said, uh, did, did it name all like the different type of elements? Mm -hmm. okay, Not yet. Verse 29, fire and hell uh -huh. and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance, teeth of wild beasts, and the scorpion, uh, and scorpions, serpents, and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in the in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon his or hey, upon earth. So the Lord has spirits in heaven right now who are ready to take out orders to kill. Spirits like fire, yeah, yeah. You got wildfires, uh, even the natural disasters. The Lord brings that type of stuff out here, man. Right. Tsunamis, tornadoes, uh, lightnings, and uh, earthquakes. All the Lord. He even said, "Teeth of wild beasts." So, whenever you see wild animals just going crazy like out of nowhere, and they just they're they're gonna they start tearing people up. The Lord is actually gonna put the spirit on the earth to where these beasts are gonna go wild, right? They're gonna be like lions in the street. We don't know that, but there could be lions in the street. You never know. But your your dogs, your cats, they're gonna be acting like big ass, like they they're gonna feel like damn lions. Your dogs are gonna feel like they're a wolf, right? Your friendly dog is gonna turn to a damn uh, 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 devouring beast. The Lord says, "Teeth of wild beast." So the Lord's gonna have to happen to you, man. All these things, even angels, are created for vengeance. These are all spirits the Lord sends from the earth down. So he's gonna send spirits on a lot of these people to actually start to do his will. And they're gonna be doing evil, but we know it's of Yahweh, you see? But the Lord can still save you from the very same thing. As a matter of fact, I wanna get this in uh, Ezekiel 9, uh, uh, and I wanna get two, right? He says, and behold, okay? And behold, six men came from the higher way of the gate, which lie toward the north, and every man a slaughtered weapon in his hand. And one man among them clothed with linen, 
with a rider's inkhorn by his side. And they went in and stood by the brazen altar. So the Lord is calling six death angels, showing you the Lord himself. He controls these death angels, even Satan himself. The Lord controls these, uh, these spirits so that they can do his bidding, whether it be evil or whether it be good. He has left-hand side spirits. He also has right-hand side spirits. That's in the book of uh, 1 Kings 22, 19. You can get that if you want. It says, uh, everyone has a slaughter weapon in his hand. Verses uh, 3. And the glory of the God of Israel was gone up from the cherub, whereupon he was to the threshold of the house. And he called to the man clothed with linen, with the rider's inkhorn by his side. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of their roof. So the Lord says to go through the midst of the city. He's telling these angels to set a mark, a spiritual mark, right? To actually, uh, that mark, if you go into like the, uh, the Hebrew of what it goes into, it literally means a mark of exemption from the judgment. So the most high, if you are gonna be one of the men out here who sigh and cry, if you are a black, Hispanic, or Native American, and you are crying out for oppression, man, you're tired of living in this Babylon the Great. Right, you're actually crying to Yahweh himself. I not I'm not talking about you crying about welfare, and, you know, or you're crying to the damn uh, uh, who else, presidents. No, that doesn't count. You have to cry to Yahweh, right? And his son Yahweh shot, right? For all the abominations that are being done to us, right? And you gotta repent. Then he's gonna set a mark on your forehead so that when all the destruction comes to the land, when the Lord starts to put his hand to judge, you are not gonna be uh, caught out there with all these. Uh, uh, destruction uh, things the Lord's bringing, right? Verses 4, uh, verses 5. And to the others he said in mine hearing, Go you after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. So the other ones, hey, the Lord says, Go through smite those who are not signed to cry, man. So if you are somebody in this, uh, in America or in the world who loves it, you want to continually live within this life and start a business, you want to pretty much start businesses, man. You want to, uh, you want to uh, uh, go to school and get your master's degree, and you want to you want to be established here, man. All right, you want to assimilate yourself with society. You want to break the commandments. You want to continually celebrate Christmas, Easter, Halloween. You want to uh, disannul the word of the Lord. All right, well, you are showing traits that you want to be here, man. So we're going to keep you here, and He's not going to give you any type of uh, protection. All right, verse six: Slay utterly old and young, both maid, little children, and women. And come not near any man whom is my mark, and begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancients which were before the house. And he said unto them, The fire of the house and fill the courts with the slain, go you forth. And they went forth and slew in the city. So the Lord is going to actually slay old or young, child, right? Baby, infants. The Lord said he's gonna he's actually gonna have uh, pregnant women and they're gonna cut their belly open. And they're gonna actually take the uh, the baby fetus out and stomp on it, man. That's actually the, the scriptures say that's how bad it's really gonna get. It's it's like it. It's yeah, like yeah, it. yeah. Like um, actually, women are gonna yeah, like like what you said, like mm -hmm. they're gonna like you know cut their baby out first right, time right. and then stomp them to the ground. But anyways, I, what I was gonna get at is was you know women are gonna start eating their babies. They they gonna start oh, yeah, eating their children, yeah. man. That's true. That's that's the prophecy that the women are gonna eat their babies as well, man. See, because the famine is coming. A lot of people are gonna be get hit with famine. All right, a lot of people, a lot of women is gonna get raped. A lot of uh, men are also even even men will get raped too. Huh. All right, that's 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 a judgment out for you if you don't have the mark. You're gonna be uh, thrown into a lot of these FEMA camps. You're gonna get your head chopped off. Which also, I mean, you're gonna have martyrs, but the people who are gonna go through the extreme torture are gonna be those who did not follow the Lord, man. So people, huh. you're gonna men are gonna be getting their limbs Pizza. like cut off. Begin their like their balls cut off and then shoved into their mouth. Like you don't think these troops, these foreign troops, are gonna be in America? You think they're gonna show mercy to you, uh, you Americans? Nah, you're gonna have Iranian coverts here, covert ops, meaning like or undercover op operation uh, uh, troops. They're gonna be like from Russia and China. They're gonna be here, and they're not gonna show you their face. They're gonna be like dressed up, but they're gonna be doing all type of heinous acts to you Americans, cause hey, they're your enemies, you right? See? They're kind of, they don't they're, grow up like Americans, man. They don't know. Nah. nah, they're not no Americans to where now they have an offended spirit. Yeah, nah. Right? They don't have that type of feeling, man. Down in their countries, 
They get down like that, man. Yeah. You yeah, know they, they grow. Yeah, Con, yeah. They grow up cutting necks, man. Yeah. They grow up killing people, uh, killing people with a, a horrifying, uh, uh, yeah. you know, image, man. And they don't have. I mean, it's that, horrible. They don't have remorse for it either. I saw. Right. I saw Hamites like literally. They got one dude. They threw. They took him on the ground, and the dude knew he was finished. You know, so they literally took his leg and they like, I think they like they they they, they uh snapped it right, just snapped it, and then they took his arm. They took a machete and just started going, man. And then made him like try to eat it. I remember you saw that one chick, and I know it's kind of explicit, man, but it's the stuff that's really gonna come on earth, you see? Like it went to the point to where, uh, I think, I don't know if it was a Jake or it was a Hamite woman, but she was obviously being a whore. So they was judging her. So they took a machete and went right to the, to the dome, right? Like sh straight up went straight to the dome, man. A couple times they had to do it too, cause she didn't die the first time. So blood was leaking out. Again, she was still alive. And then straight to the dome the next time and it was it was finished. Yeah, yeah, I seen that before. Uh you had you have literally uh kids I think. I mean it looks like a teenager. He's cutting someone's neck and just going at it, man. Oh yeah, yeah. Dude's still alive. Yeah. He don't he's, even care, he's just yeah, he's just going. That's how they get down in these other uh foreign countries. And guess who that's who they're gonna send them foreign troops here to deal with you Americans, right? Uh -huh. And they're gonna like it too, because they hate Americans. Yeah, and they're gonna rape the women like it's nothing. They're gonna rape ten men at a time. Mm -hmm. And a lot of you women is just gonna actually kind of just kind of die by rape. Mm -hmm. Y'all gonna get dealt with, and then they're gonna get you again, and then you're gonna be like, you're gonna be like that one woman that in the scriptures, what's that woman of Benjamin? Remember that one woman? I'm gonna read it. Yeah, you can actually get that. That's that's actually a perfect example. I'm gonna read the, the Lamentations one though. Okay. This is Lamentations 4 and 17. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. For thee, for these pine away, stricken through, for want of the fruit of the field. The hands of the pitiful woman have sodden their own children. They were their meat in the day, slacking the destruction of the daughter of my people. Slot. So, what happened was, you had women who sodden their own children. Sodden means to boil. They boiled their own children, man. So that they could eat because there was a famine. Uh, All right? You, are you trying to find it? Uh, about where they raped no, no, to where they ate their children. Oh, in the first place? Ba yeah, yeah. Basically, man, they was having negotiations. One mother and another mother were having a negotiation and say, we're going to eat my, my baby today or eat yours tomorrow. Mm. All right? So they boiled one today and they ate that, but the woman left the next day. All right? All right. The woman who still had the child, she left. All right? So that's gonna happen, man. And, and crafty, crafty counsel on people's minds gonna happen too. All right, it tells you that people in the last days are gonna be traitors, man. Are gonna be high-minded, heady-minded. So if you're making negotiations and you put your you put your leg in, man, and, and uh, say say you put your your thing in, they're gonna take it, and the next day they're just gonna leave, man. All right, that's that's what's gonna be going on. No remorse for anything. It's gonna be straight survival mode. Nobody's gonna give a damn about about what you're talking about, all right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, Can you get that one thing in Judges where uh, you know what it is? In Judges? Yeah, when they, like uh, Benjamites, how they literally went and they took that one woman. You know that one? Which one? Ah, uh, no, I thought no, you no, know. which one? Uh, I, that that when the whole tribe of Benjamin. Oh, took come, come, I got it. Yeah, that's this is what's gonna happen to a lot of you women, man. All right, I'm gonna find that one for the uh, first king. So this is uh. Let's see here. I got it. This is Ju uh, Judges chapter 20 and 14. But the children of Benjamin gathered themselves together out of the city under Geba to go out to battle. No, it's not yes, sir. Let me start at one. All right, so this is. No, nah, no, nah, that's right here. It's lucky 19. This is Judges 19 and 22. And now as they were making their hearts merry, behold, the men of the city, certain sons of Beel, beset the house round about and beat on the door and spake to the master of the house of the old men, saying, Bring forth the man that came into thine house that we may know him. So these Benjamites, like they were Sodomites. Right, they were homosexuals. They wanted to, they wanted to get down with another man. You know, they wanted to literally get together 
and, and basically gang up on another dude. And that's really what's going to be happening, man. This will be Esau's fun time. Fun time. Them Hamites, they they really they really uh sodomites, man. Mm -hmm. The Hamites too. They like you, Jakes, man. Mm -hmm. All right, they, right. Hey, you Jakes who are wicked. Hey, don't think these these Hamites are going to be easy on you, men either, man. That's uh -huh. that's just the truth, right? Right. That's why you got to. You know, we're not just saying all this just to kind of scare people. Let me actually get this right. I mean, really, we are, but this is what the book of Jude says, right? Th give me 2 Corinthians 5 and 11. Wow, I still I'll got some. Okay, uh, okay uh, this is uh, Jude 22, Jude, Jude 23. And others save with fear, pulling them out the fire, hating, I mean, uh, yeah, hating evil garments spotted by the flesh. See? So it says, wait, wait, no, no, no. Jude 22, and some having compassion, making a difference, and others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. So it says that you got some people you can have compassion on, but others you got to straight up show them what's happening, mm. right? And that's going to kind of pull them out the fire because your ass was in the fire, but you're hearing this stuff might kind of click something in your head. So sometimes you got to forget, you got to really bring this out, man, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they will, they're most likely, man, they're gonna be gangs, all right? Gangs of men who want you, man. Yeah. Who want other men, all right? And they're gonna, you know, let's go on. It says, And the men of the ma and the men, the master of the house went out unto them and said unto them, Nay, my brethren, nay, I pray you, do not. Do not so wickedly. Seeing this man is come into my house, do not this folly. Behold, here's my daughter, a maiden, and his concubine. Them I will bring out now, and humble ye them, and do with them what seemeth good unto you. But unto this man, do not do not so a vile thing. But the men would not hearken to him. So the man took his concubine and brought her forth unto them, and they knew her and abused her all night until the morning. And when the day began to spring forth, began to spring, they let her go. Then came the woman in the dawning of the day and fell down at the door in the man's house where her Lord was till it was late, till it was light. And her Lord rose up in the morning and opened the doors of the house and went out to his way. And behold, the woman his concubine was falling down at the door of his house, and her hands were upon the threshold. And he said unto her up, let us be going. But none answered. Then the man took her up upon an ass, and the man rose and get him into the place. And when he was come into his house, he took a knife and laid hold upon his concubine and divided her to, uh, together with her bones into 12 pieces and sent her into the, all the coast of Israel. And it was so that all that saw it said, there was no need, no such deed done nor seen. From that day, the children of Israel came up out of the land of Egypt. And to this day, consider it, take advice, and speak your minds. So what happened was a group, a, a group of Benjamites, they took a woman and basically raped her from night unto day, until the dawning of day, all right? And she died, man. It tells you that they abused her. So she was raped grievously, all right, from, from night until the morning. And guess what? She died, all right? And that's what's gonna happen to a lot of Americans out here. They're going to be gravy, grievously raped, all right? And that too will go for men, not only women. You got some? Second Kings chapter, uh, I believe it's going to be, uh, let me see, 6 and 29. See, so these are, the, these are the days that we're really coming up into, man, you know. Uh, Second Andrew 6 and 29 says, uh, yeah, can we just say, And the king said unto her, What allayeth thee? And she answered, The woman said unto me, Give me thy son that we may eat him today, and we will eat my son tomorrow. So the king was asking this woman, like, what's your problem? 
And she was all like, look, we, uh, I had a talk with this one woman. She said, we're going to eat my son today and hers tomorrow. So we boiled my son and did eat him. And I said unto her on the next day, give thy son that we may eat him. And she said, and she hid her son. Mm -hmm. See, and it came to pass when the king heard these words uh, of the woman that he rent his clothes and passed by upon the wall. And the people looked and behold, he had sackcloth within his flesh. So this woman, they were uh, pretty much saying that's each other's children, right? Because at the yeah. time of this, this time, Jerusalem was going through a lot of stuff, right? So the Lord is going to once again bring that, uh, that terror upon Jerusalem. And when we say Jerusalem, we're talking about the people, not the land, but the people, because we are people before our nation. So Lord going to bring the destruction once again into Jerusalem, and then we're going to have women out here literally eating their children once more, man. I, cannibalism is coming back. Raping, and I mean, robbing and killing and, 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 and uh, cutting limbs off. And I mean, the worst terror you can think about is going to be here. That's why uh, the book of, uh, what's his name? Uh, I'm gonna get that in your yeah, world. And if they're eating their own children, man, they're not they're not gonna think twice to eat you. Come on. See? Yeah. Not even. Bear, you're gonna be trapped everywhere, man. You might get trapped up into like a, a like snare. A, bear, a bear trap. Yeah, man. bear and then you're gonna have a bunch of like cannibals coming, man. Mm-hmm. Right? It's gonna be it's gonna be a scary time. <laughs> that's that's for the wicked. If you are of Israel, hey, the most high is gonna have you, right? That's why you gotta repent. This is the book of Daniel, chapter twelve and one. And at that time shall Michael stand up, a great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as was never since there was a nation, even to the time. And at the time of thy people shall be delivered every one that shall be written in the book of life. Okay? So, hey, it says there's going to come a time where the things on earth is going to be like nothing that the world has ever witnessed. Anything you could think, even Yahweh Shai himself said that, this is going to be the worst tribulation of all tribulations you've ever seen. So anything you can think of, World War I, World War II, uh, any type of type of civil war, any type of uh, famine, you think Africa, how their children was going through famine, you think that was bad, right? You thought the Holocaust, so-called Holocaust might have been bad. Well, the thing that's going to uh, overtake this land or this world, especially Babylon, the great America, will be something you've never seen, right? And the wicked will not be delivered. But the righteous, hey, they will be saved, right? That's why the, 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 the seal of exemption, the righteous are in the hands of God. That's uh, wisdom. Let me this real quick. Let me get this one scripture, man. All right, we can probably close it up. Uh, right, going to be the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3. And then I want to get a 1. It says, all right, but the souls of the righteous are in the hands of God. And there shall no torment touch them. See? So if you are uh, righteous, you are doing what the Lord needs you to do in these days, man. Alright? You're being diligent and you're actually being sincere. The Lord says that your hand, your soul is in his hands. He's not going to give you over to the, all the destruction. And no torment is going to touch you. Alright? Everyone's going to go through the time of temptation. But the Lord said, because, get that in uh, Revelation 3, say real quick. Last scripture. We'll go, we'll go close out with this. Revelation 3 and 10. Tells you this. It tells you uh, it's a lot. Three and ten. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So the Lord says, "Hey, because you have kept the word of my patience, because you have lost your life for my sake, and you have." You have continually remained in the scriptures, even when uh, when things was looking like nothing was happening. You were still diligent, man. You didn't you didn't go back into the world and stuff like that, I know. Or you just repented from doing wickedness. Well, the Lord said because you have been patient and you wait patiently waited on His prophecies. Well, He's going to keep you from that hour of temptation, which is going to come on all the world. You know, uh, uh, mostly really the RFID microchip and a lot of these things the prophecies talk about the market of the beast. That's gonna what the Lord's gonna keep you from, even all these torment stuff, right? All of there will come a time of trial, so you you know we still gotta remember that. Uh, you can read a little bit more. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Him that overcometh, I will make a pillar of the temple of my God, 
and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God. And I will write upon him my new name. He that hear hath an ear, let him hear. See, so that's what we're waiting for. You know, we're waiting to just, the Lord says that what you have, hold fast till he comes. So whatever you have right now, man, build yourself up, get this wisdom and knowledge, and hold it fast till the Lord return, you know? Don't sell out. Don't take the mark of the beast. Don't, all right, don't go to the right hand or to the left. But, you know, uh, you have anything you want to bring up? You have anything you want to say, bro? Honestly. Okay, Khan. So uh, with that, we want to say death to America. All right, we want to give our praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. All right, and uh, Shalom. Shalom.